Hi, this is Tanya here with a little Sunday something for the A Million Memories blog. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these little tissue paper flowers. Very easy on the wallet. Most of us have tissue paper laying around the house. I do, in a bunch of different colors. Uh, I'll bring this a little bit closer. I don't know that it will automatically focus for us or not. But I will also post this card um, on the gallery for you all to see. So the supplies you will need for this are some tissue paper, your scissors, and a piece of string or thread. doesn't matter what color the string or thread is because once this is done you really won't see them. So what I have here is I have cut a strip of tissue paper. It's about 18 inches long by about 3 inches wide. You can do it however long you want. The longer it is, the fluffier your flower will be. You can make it however wide you want it to be, and the wider your width, the greater the diameter of your flower will be. So like I said, mine is about 18 inches long by about 3 inches wide. I like to double my tissue paper up when I make this flower, so I'm going to go ahead and fold that one end over to the next end, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that in half on that seam. Okay, now I'm going to lay these both down here on the table, one right on top of the other one. doesn't matter if they're perfectly aligned or not. Then I'm going to take the top and I'm going to just do an accordion fold. And I'm going to do the whole length of this. I'm going to fold that forward, flip it around, fold it back. Do the whole length of this. Like I said, it doesn't matter how neat or precise you are. Messier actually might be better in this case. Um, so this is good for those of us that aren't necessarily perfectionists. So like I said, back and forth until we're all done. Alright, now I have this done. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just cut some little notches out here right in the center. This is where we're going to tie our piece of thread. And all this really does is just make it so that it's not so bulky and it's easier to tie the um, thread around there. Make sure that you leave some space in between. You don't bring your two points together and cut the thing in half. You want to leave a spot in there that's still adhered. Next you're going to take your string and you're going to tie it where those two notches are. You're going to bring it around the back and tie just a good old regular knot. Okay, now the next thing you can do that I do, you don't have to do this, I'm going to cut off my tails here and then I'm going to snip the ends of my tissue paper just with a little bit more of a decorated look. So you can leave them flat like that if you want or you can round them. I'm going to do mine into little points just because I like the way that that makes my flower petals look. Okay, so there's mine. That's what it looks like. Then you're going to take it. You've got two halves. I'm going to take one half and I'm going to grab the ends of the tissue paper on one side and the ends of the tissue paper on the other. Just go ahead and pull them out. Pull them apart so that you have them like kind of like a little fan. Then, because we doubled up our layers of tissue paper, you can pull those, separate those out. And there is your puffy stuff. So it actually might be kind of fun if you really want a poofy, poofy flower, do a bunch of different layers. But we only did two. So we have those all separated and pulled apart. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the other half. Separate them, pull them apart there, and then pull the two layers apart here. Like I said, this is one of those things where kind of the messier is probably your prettier rather than being so precise and perfect with it all. Alright, so there we go. Just like a little poof ball. And I like to take mine, and I like to, obviously, as you saw from the card here, I like to put a little button, rhinestone, something, some type of center in there. So you just kind of push your finger down here in the middle, pushes it down perfectly, and that is where you will glue your center. There you go. Hope you enjoy that. And now I expect to see you all using them on your projects. That's it. And have a great rest of your weekend.